Retinoids, hydroquinones, laser treatments, chemical exfoliations, these are all things that people seem to be recommending for hyperpigmentation, even post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Now I know there's a bunch of different hyperpigmentations out there. You could be naturally low in melanin and all of that stuff. This video is about post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, what to do about it. If you're turned off by all the chemical stuff, you've gotten this far through your healing process through no chemicals, a lack of products in your life, a lack of chemicals in your life, you come this far because you've become a healthier human being and you don't want to go down the route of all of this chemical stuff. Let's get into it. I found it so strange when I finished actually healing from eczema, so my skin had closed back up again, it wasn't oozing, it wasn't itching anymore, I wasn't purging anything out through my skin anymore, but I was left with this scarring, this hyperpigmentation. And I found it really confusing that people were talking about dermo rolling and vitamin C serums and stuff that sounded really unnatural and I'd gotten to where I'd gotten to naturally. So why was I going to start including all of this unnatural, laboratory grown stuff into my, into my life again just to get rid of some scarring at the end? And look, if you're anything like me, you're a logical thinker, you're a rational thinker, you stop and you think about this stuff for yourself. If your body has come this far in the process naturally, if it's come as far as to close back up again the pores that it widened, it's no longer oozing, it's no longer causing you to itch or scratch, do you really think it's going to stop here or do you think it's going to go all the way? Now I've proved time and time again and in this video all you've got is my word that if the body has started something it will finish it. So if it's decided to open up the pores and let out some stuff through the skin to be inflamed, to go red, to ooze, to itch. If it's decided to do this all by itself without you bringing any foreign substance in, then it will decide to close it back up again. This will work. It will heal seamlessly, flawlessly, all by itself. That's the beauty of mother nature. And I promise you this will happen if you allow health to return to your body. If you don't stand in the way, if you don't start throwing chemicals into the mix, if you allow the conditions of health to be restored, if you don't stand in the way. Healing takes place when we get out of the way and we let mother nature take over. So what do I mean by allowing health to return? What do I mean by allowing the conditions for mother nature to do its magic work to be in place in your life? Well, your body is a machine. If you want the skin of an athlete, look at the Olympics, look at that amazing skin that those guys are adorned with. If you want their kind of skin, then you've got to have their kind of lifestyle. If you want to have seamless, flawless, amazing, blemish-free skin on the surface, then you've got to be that seamless, flawless person underneath. Your skin on the surface, without any makeup, without any chemicals added, is reflecting the person that you are underneath. I promise you that is true. If your, if, your org, if your internal organs are in a poor condition, that will show on your skin. If your internal body is of poor fitness, is of poor detoxification, poor daily detox, your skin is going to be reflecting this. This is just the most simple, basic truth about skin health that I can give you. If you've got hyperpigmentation as a result of inflammation that you formerly had on the surface of your skin right now, then you're not fully through the woods yet and you've got to keep going with this detoxification lifestyle. Keep doing all the things that cause your skin to heal in the first place. The same things that you are doing now will bring you through to that flawless, seamless skin place that, that you want in the future. And yes, there may be a few, one or two little bits and pieces that you can do in addition to this. So I use rosehip oil on my skin. Rosehip is known for being really amazing at clearing scarring and preventing scarring. So if, you, if you've been damaged in some way, use a bit of rosehip oil on there. But again, this is not, so rosehip did not heal my skin. It's just something that I employed to work alongside what my body was doing already. If your body is, look, if you wanna be over here, if, if your body is just a force for good in this direction, and you're bringing in things that are standing in the way of that, if you're bringing in chemical products, if you're bringing in things that are not conducive to overall health in the body, then it's gonna stand in the way of that life force that your body is trying to get you to. Your body wants you to have 
that flawless skin that you want to have, that the vain side of you wants to have when you look in the mirror, I promise you your body wants that for you as well. So quit mooching around looking online for the next latest quick fix, somebody telling you the product that you're missing that's going to be the magic piece in your jigsaw. Get rid of all of that, get outside, get some perspective, wear yourself out, sweat until you cannot move anymore, which is right for the body to do every now and again, this is natural. Sweat bucket loads. Choose to have epic circulation, choose to live big, choose to live so far beyond the weird shades of skin color that you have right now that you're not even thinking about that anymore. Become an inspiring person, become a super motivational person, become an object of desire for those people around you but not because of your skin, because of the person that you are within. So if you've healed your skin naturally, you've made the healing program work for you, now's the time for the thriving program where you become the biggest, best, strongest, fastest, fittest person that you can possibly be. You have the greatest participation in your daily reality. You become the most inspiring person. You become the person that you yourself wanted to be around all those years ago. This is your chance for that. As I lay out in the book, The Complete Guide to Healing Eczema, this was never a program for just getting rid of eczema, just getting rid of hyperpigmentation. This is becoming, this is about becoming the best version of yourself possible. This is the gift that is eczema. Don't waste that gift. Allow it to shape you into being the best person that you never thought you could be, even in your wildest imaginations.